puppy's first clip, or maybe second clip, first time with me. So we're going to do his body with a 7F leg and get him used to that leg going down his body. He's such a little, tiny little baby. But he's nervous, so we'll, we'll just play with his body a little bit. Looks like he's got a few fleas here. That is a clipping point. This piece of skin here will always go down on it. Never this way. Never this way. You'll cut the... You'll slice it right open. I'm just gonna... You can lift your puppy up with your hand. And around the side of the legs, we're gonna go sideways. This is a clipping point between the little heel and this. So you always want to go gently scoop around it. You gotta watch these ears because if he folds his ear back while you're clipping, you could cut it. So fold his ear up while you're clipping his neck and around his neck. Okay, so for a little schnauzer here or terrier head, you're gonna have a 7F blade, a 10 blade, and a 30 blade. And so you can either use a 7F or a 10 blade on the head. We're going to use a 7F against green for the head. 10 inside the ears and 30 on the outside. So you're going to take your 7F and go against the green and shave up to his eyebrows right here. And you're going to find inside of the ear. Put your thumb in there so you don't clip the ear. And you're going to go from the inside the ear to the outside of the eye, come to the side and shave to the beard and outside of the eye. Again, put your thumb in front of the ear so you don't clip his ear. Against the grain, shave to his end of the eye. And then on the side of the head, shave to the corner of the eye. Underneath the beard, you're going to shave up to his chin. And he's very, very thick, this little dog. And then you're going to grab your 30 blade and you're going to shave inside the ear. Now they have all kinds of little pieces of skin here, so you always want to shave down on it like this. Never this way, but down. Um, inside the ear to the corner outside and the 30 blade just gets it all nice and clean in there again see these little pieces of skin never this way right here these little flops you want to go down on it this way and we're going to go ahead and shave with the 30 blade the outside the ear because he's got a pretty thick hair if he didn't have thick hair, I would use the 10 blade because otherwise it would make it too close. There's a little piece of skin here on your dog's ear. You want to pull it taut and go down on it with your 30 blade. And just go right around the ear to get it nice and nice and clean. Okay. Little baby. He's such a baby. Little go, puppy. Such a good puppy. And then for the inside of the eyes, you're going to pull all this stuff forward and just scoop out right underneath his eye on either side. Take your blade and just scoop out that hair that's in there between his, between his eyes. He's really thick too, so if he wasn't thick and it was thin in there, you can use scissors. Ready. Okay, what we're going to do is we're using Dawn dishwashing detergent. They use it on ducks and all kinds of animals, wildlife. When they have oil on them, you can use it as a degreaser. I would not suggest using this as a regular shampoo. Well, this little puppy has fleas, so to stop the fleas from coming up into the ears. And this little sprayer isn't working. Into the ears, we're going to put like a ring of shampoo around her neck to stop the bugs from coming up to her head. 
and we're going to do a little around her anus because they will climb in the anus and they will get like around she's got quite her own little flea factory so now we're just going to cover her in dawn dishwashing detergent um, because it will kill the fleas and she's going to soak in this now honestly there are some shampoos that you can buy that are flea shampoos i actually have one or two but the dawn for a puppy is just safer and less chemicals and we're just pretty much gonna soak her in as a groomer we basically pretty much blow off all the fleas and get them all off because fleas are getting resilient to a lot of these products so as we groom her we will wash a lot of them down the sink and then the dryer the fleas that are biting on mean they're still alive we'll be we'll be picking them off so she will be flea free when i'm done with her change blades to a 10 blade to clip underneath his pit and just gently scoop out. Scoop up those long hairs out of there gently. And it's a little piece of skin that you can cut in there, so you want to change over to your 10 blade. Okay, so we're just going to go back over his body with a 7F and smooth out all the fur on his body. This is a cutting point, so the carrot be very gentle. You go around it, not down on it. Those hairs that are sticking up on his body. The, the body, you're going to take your brush and brush up around his toes to fluff up all that hair that's stuck in his toes. And you're going to take your scissors and just scissor off whatever's sticking off. Sticking up, I mean. And you're going to go around his whole pad and just scissor off all that stuff that's fluffing up. You can take your brush again, fluff it up, and then trim up whatever's sticking up. Hiya! Before you click away, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for step-by-step -step tutorials showing you how to groom your own pets. And while you're at it, click the link in the description to sign up for my free mini course on dematting, de-skunking, and nail trimming. See you on the inside.